The easiest way to increase search traffic to your e-commerce store is with an SEO audit. That might sound tricky right now, but I'm going to show you three quick and easy ways to complete a professional SEO audit on your e-commerce store. Not only that, but I'm going to tell you how to fix all of the issues that we find step by step. Now, the bulk of this tutorial is going to be focused on using Screaming Frog, but that can be quite technical and overwhelming for a lot of people. So first, I want to give you a quick overview of two easy to use tools that anyone could use to complete an on-site e-commerce SEO audit with absolutely zero previous knowledge. The first is the SEMrush site audit tool that packs everything up into an easy to use interface. You can find an exclusive trial link in the video description. As you can see, it gives you an overall score and breaks down all of your top issues easily, which you can click on to get a more detailed breakdown, along with advice on how to fix it. Just work through each of the issues that SEMrush finds and then rerun the audit to see how you have improved. The second tool that you can use is the Ahrefs Site Audit tool, which is much more advanced, but sacrifices a little on the user experience. And again, there's an exclusive trial link in the video description. If you run a report on your e-commerce store and scroll down, you can find a list of all of your issues. And you can see here that the Ahrefs Site Audit tool goes into huge depth of coverage. All you need to do is click through each issue for a more detailed report and fix them one at a time. Once you're done, click on the new crawl button to rerun it and see how you have improved. Those are by far the two easiest to use tools to audit your e-commerce stores. And if you had to choose between one of them, the Ahrefs tool has my vote. But for those of you that really want to drill down into things, you should use Screaming Frog. Now this isn't for everyone, nor does it have a pretty interface or reports, it's as raw as you can get. And some of us like that, and some of us need to get in those trenches, whereas for others it's overwhelming. But if you want to get into it, just enter your URL here and click start and relax while Screaming Frog does a heavy lifting for you. Once it's done, click on file and save to save your project. And then we can start working through the various issues it has found. The first problem you want to pay attention to is duplicate content. Just go to the URL tab and select duplicate in the filter tab. This report shows you all of the pages that have duplicate content. And in this case, we can see the main cause of the duplicate content issue on this site is the use of parameters. Take a look at these two URLs and you will see they are exactly the same up until the question mark. After the question mark, it's just a random set of parameters, but Google sees this as two separate pages, even though it's one. In this specific example, they should apply the correct canicalization tags, which will take care of the issue immediately. In your case, you should work through each of these duplicate content issues and take care of each of them. Next, you should check for missing or duplicate title tags as these are one of the most important on-page SEO elements for your store. Just go to the Page Titles tab, select the Missing option, and you will see a list of pages that are missing their title tags. All you have to do is add a title tag to each of these pages to take care of that. Once that is done, change the filter to Duplicate, and make sure that you update each of these duplicate title tags with a unique title tag for each page. And be sure to include your target keyword in the page title too. This is huge. If you need help with e-commerce keyword research or writing effective titles, then be sure to check out my much more detailed e-commerce SEO tutorial on the blog. Next, we need to take care of missing or duplicate meta descriptions. And even though they don't carry much SEO weight, they can help you increase your click-through rate from the search results. So, head over to the Meta Descriptions tab and select Missing in the filter. Just add Meta Descriptions to all of these pages and that will fix that issue. Then, change the filter to Duplicate. Work through each of these URLs, tweaking each of the Meta Descriptions so that they are unique. Even if you're just changing a few words here and there. However, 
I highly suggest you use the formula from my free seven day e-commerce SEO course to write perfect titles and descriptions. You can find the link in the video description below. Next, you want to take care of all of the missing alt tags across your store. Head over to the images tab, then filter the results by missing alt text. Again, just work through each of these results and add descriptive alt tags that use variations of your target keyword to each image. With that taken care of, it's time to work through your 404 error pages. These are both bad for your user experience and Google as well. So head over to the response code tab and filter the pages by client 4XX. Now you've got two options with these pages. First, you could redirect the broken URL to a relevant page if it genuinely no longer exists. Or secondly, the most likely option is you can visit each link to see why it's broken. Often it's just a, a small typo or a space or something like that is causing the problem. So work through each of those and once we've taken care of those problems, we need to check that we haven't accidentally added any no index tags to important pages. Because once you add a no index tag to a page, it tells Google to drop it from its index. So in the right hand column of Screaming Frog, find the directives category and then click on no index. This will return a list of URLs that have the no index tag applied to them. And you should double check that these pages should have that tag or not. Perhaps a page had the, the no index tag applied during testing and it was left in place by accident when deployed to live. Silly things like that happen all of the time. So pay attention to your no index tags. Once you finish checking each of these, we want to find and fix any 302 redirects. And by fix, I mean change them to 301 redirect. Because a 301 redirect will pass link juice, whereas a 302 redirect does not. To check this, go to the response code tab and filter the results by redirection 3xx and sort the results by status code. Find all of the 302 redirects and change them to 301 redirects. Once that's done, you just need to focus on fixing your canonical tags because it's easy for a page to have multiple URLs point into it, which causes duplicate content issues on your store. Take a look at these URL examples. They're all different URLs in Google's eyes, but in reality, they are all the same page. So we can fix that easily by defining a canonical URL. This is in essence telling Google which URL to consider as the definitive URL and to rank that one and ignore the others. To find whether your pages have canonical tags set on them or not, go to the URL tab and scroll to the right and find the canonical link element. The pages with empty spaces have no canonical URL tag set right now, but you should assign one. And if some of your pages already have canonical URLs set, you want to make sure that they're set to the right URLs. When you have your canonical URLs set, it's time to look at site speed. This has a huge impact on traffic loss, conversions, and traffic from Google. So you must pay attention to it. You can use a free GT metrics tool to find most problems easily. Just enter your store's homepage and wait for the report to load. As you can see, there is huge room for improvement. And when a site is taking nearly five seconds to load, we can assume that 40% of people are abandoning the site. What effect do you think that is having on your annual revenue? GT Metrics will also make a range of suggestions of things that you could improve on to increase site speed. And you should work through each of these suggestions. But the quickest and easiest way to do it usually is via a caching plugin or by signing up for the free version of Cloudflare. But you might also want to consider upgrading your web host. And I've got a great recommendation for you in the description if you're running WooCommerce. It's the same people that host my blog right now. But you should also test your category pages, product pages, and checkout pages for speed problems as well. Now, Earlier in the tutorial, we took care of internal duplicate content, but we also need to check for external duplicate content. 
This means that content that exists on your site also exists on another site. And it's usually caused if you've used manufacturer or supplier provided product descriptions on your site. But don't worry, this is a super common issue. And the easiest way to check this is with Copyscape's batch search tool. Just paste in a list of all of the URLs from your store that Screaming Frog found earlier and Copyscape will go out and make sure that your content is unique. Once a report is ready, you can see how many duplicate matches there are for each URL and you can click through for more details. You should really try and focus on fixing on any of the red highlighted issues by tweaking the content on your store and running the check again. Although, if you're serious about increasing traffic to your e-commerce store, I highly suggest you sign up for my free seven-day e-commerce SEO course because I want to teach you everything you need to know, including how to create traffic-sucking category pages and the best link building strategies for e-commerce SEO that anyone can execute. Just follow the link in the video description to sign up for the free course right now.